The history of Papago Park is long and rich. Well before the park was formally recognized, the unique natural resources were appreciated by prehistoric civilizations. The growth of civilization over thousands of years has been dynamic, and the park is now centrally positioned in the heart of the Phoenix metropolitan area. Papago Park is home to the Phoenix Zoo, the Desert Botanical Gardens, the Papago Sports Complex, the Rolling Hills Golf Course, and the Hall of Flame Museum. Active and passive recreation opportunities exist throughout the park, including bicycle and pedestrian trails, an archery range, picnic areas with historic ramadas, fishing lakes, and athletic facilities. This growth has placed pressure on the unique park environment, creating the need for a new master plan. This legacy and the protection of the resources for future generations is a paramount goal for the planning process. The plan will not only address current needs and desires for the park, but look well into the future to help guide decisions for future management of the park. The updated Papago Park Regional Master Plan will support the values of our community, protect the open space and natural resources in the park, enhance the recreation needs of the community, meet the needs of existing partners and new partners operating within the park, and motivate the community to want to invest in the park. The cities of Phoenix, Tempe, Scottsdale, together with the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community are working together to plan the park's future. The effort about Papago Park's rehabilitation and protection really started uh, in 2004. Bill Post, who was then the chairman of APS, uh, came to me and described how he had spent time in the park as a child, that this area had been really important to many, many of us who had grown up here. And it's an area that gives voice to the not only the natural elements of the Sonoran Desert we live in, but also some of the ancient and historic pieces of our community. Bill's passion for it is in, was really in, infected. I had given a speech uh, the month before at Arizona State University about Papago Park and it being what I call the diamond in the rough. Here's this beautiful natural area that has now been overrun really, overused, uh, overappreciated perhaps. We've not taken very good care of it, but it includes some of the most important ancient and historic elements for our community. Papago Park and the effort to preserve it and protect it really is something we should all uh, reach around. We all need to grab hold of this opportunity and create a better Papago Park for all of us. This is an opportunity for all the region's communities to help protect something that gives recreational and educational benefits to our community. It represents some of our best ancient and modern history. It's the preservation of the natural flora and fauna of this entire region. Those are the reasons I think that we can all come together and protect Papago Park. It's a typical kind of regional approach that has to be applied here because not only is there a dependency between the various cities that surround it or own it, and as you probably know, we, we do not own any portion of the park itself, the city of Scottsdale, but we are impacted by it. But working with our neighbors around it, it's going to be something that we will uh, you know, we will have to work to, uh, to build on together. And uh, I think it's important that we not only work together for that common desired result in the park, but also for our surrounding communities. That codependency actually goes to the fact that we, as we concentrate on the revitalization, if you wanted to call it that, of that part of South Scottsdale, we certainly need to be doing that as well as the other cities that surround it. Because it's important that the surrounding communities support the park and the park supports them. So it's a, it's a, it's a very typical regional effort and I think it, it, uh, we're already heading in that direction and I think we've got, made some great strides and we're going to continue to work in that direction. Connectivity to the park is, is really an essential element in getting its, its use, its appreciation, and frankly the life of the park. And I think those are all things that are positive good. You know, in uh, the trail systems, the multi-use trail systems that we'll be looking to have, you know, Scottsdale has been proud of not only our trail system but also our park system. But bringing the Green Belt together with the Papago Park through these neighborhoods I think will serve everybody's interest in Scottsdale. And I think that connectivity can follow right on through. And I think that's what I'm hoping that the other partners in that regional effort will be looking to do. Well, when I first got elected, I described that corridor that the light rail travels from downtown Tempe to downtown Phoenix as an opportunity corridor. 
because it has all the transportation in. It has some wonderful, wonderful places for new homes and apartments, uh, higher density units that can uh, serve the light rail stations and add to the light rail experience. But it also had the cultural amenities uh, such as the, the uh, Papago Park and our world famous zoo and uh, also Tempe Town Lake and the uh, certainly the Tovia Castle what a historic and beautiful area. So people will be able within that first 20 miles to really visit any of those monuments, any of those uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, areas by just getting on light rail, not having to worry about parking and take a simple either uh, short walk or a little shuttle bus over to any of these. Um, I, encourage, I encourage everybody to come out and voice their opinions about this process. I know there are a lot of people that are on board that are looking at this, that are mapping this area out, but I think it's the voice of the people, native and non-native, to come out and, and uh, put their two cents in there to allow this conception to happen and to make it uh, a destination for throughout the state and so that we as Arizonans can be proud of this area here and also to help the people understand who the first peoples were and how they subsisted on in this land of a desert. So I ask again to please come out and voice your opinions and uh, at the next meeting we hope to see you there. The cities of Phoenix, Tempe and Scottsdale together with the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community are conducting a public planning process to develop a vision and series of recommendations to guide the future of Papago Park as a premier regional park. Public workshops will be held on April 29th, June 15th, and August 20th. For more information about the Papago Park Regional Master Plan and to learn how you can participate, call 480-391-6800 or visit www.discoverpapagopark.com. Dot com.